a promise for the weak. And it says, And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia writes, These things say he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it, for you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. The Holy One, the True One, the one who can never fail. The one that when he says no man can change, he's assuring us authoritatively that he has shut the door of that limitation. He has shut the doors of stagnation. He has shut the doors of every delay in our lives. And he says he has opened the door, the door of joy, the door of abundance. That door, that door that you have been waiting for. He is assuring you that by adventure you have forgotten. He says, see, just see it. See it's already in the advance. See that it is already done. See that he has done it already. And you don't have to worry. By adventure you are still worrying. That mountain that looks impossible. That mountain that has been there for years. He says, I have done it. I have destroyed it. And he said it on the cross. He said, it is finished. He said, it is finished. Everything, that doubt is finished. I want us to rise up this morning to tell God that God, we know, we know your word and we believe your word. Because you have said it, we believe it. The door has been opened to us and every limitation has been shut. Everything that has been a stumbling block, he has removed it in the name of Jesus. The way he brought Lazarus out and he removed all the shackles on him. He says, I have opened the door to you. He said, you are free. You are free indeed. That stubborn child that you think that he can never hear you. He said, it is done in the name of Jesus. Open doors in your finances in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank God. Thank him. Thank him for his words never fail. It is J and amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.